Hi, I'm Melissa Williams. I'm Wesley's aunt. And the man I'm going to be talking to about you to you today about is William Washington Pierce, who was my husband's great grandfather. He was born on November 14, 1833, here in Mobile, Alabama, when the cotton crop reigned as lifeblood to the state's economy. Um, Mr. Pierce enlisted in um, October of 1863 as a private in the Confederate um, Army. Um, later on, he would re-enlist as a seaman in April of 1864 in Mobile, Alabama. He served on a ship that was commanded by Captain Walthall, and it was a it was originally called CSS Tennessee, and later would be known as the USS Tennessee. Um, it was built in Selma, Alabama, and then launched in '63 after getting completed with all the outfittings here in Mobile, Alabama. Um, it was a flagship of Adm Admiral Franklin Buchanan, and she was part of the strongest unit of the Navy part of the defenses of Mobile Bay. Uh, after she came in through uh, by Fort Morgan and Fort Gaines into Mobile Bay, um, she was able to inflict some damage on the Federal ships. Uh, at that time, the ship took um, was surrounded by the Union warships and it was battered into surrender. Uh, at that time, the um, Mr. William Washington Pierce was captured by the Union Army and sent to um, Ship Island to be imprisoned. He was 15 days there and sent to New Orleans and paroled in April of 1865. Um, he died in 1916 here in Mobile, Alabama, and he is buried in the old um, Magnolia Springs Cemetery in Theodore, Alabama. Uh, 